Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. After a crazy, yes, crazy day of content yesterday on Monday, I want to take a look at what is going on in this game right now, what we can maybe expect today on Tuesday, as we have a pretty big SBC expiring. That is the mid-prime icon upgrade, and I have some thoughts on how I think it's going to return pretty soon. It might not be today. It might not be re-upped today. I don't think it's going to be re-released as repeatable, but I just want to talk about how, how EA, when they put out icon SBCs, like icon upgrade SBCs, they kind of have a little bit of a, um, a schedule that they usually go off of. So based off that, I want to kind of look at the mid prime icon returning pretty soon in this game. Also taking a look at yesterday's crazy content. It was a really busy day on the game yesterday. A lot of great content was released. The 80 plus player pick, the 84 plus player pick. Uh, again, this 80 plus being only three rares and nine cards in total with 35 chemistry is a huge dub. That is very, very cheap to do. We'll talk more about that. The Haji SBC, which is a tremendous dub for Haji and his son. So cool. We'll talk about that. The Zidane SBC, which I think is a little bit overpriced. And the 16th foot Future Stars swaps token was made available in objectives yesterday. So we'll talk about that a little bit as well. And what we could see today with a lot of the Future Stars items on the market exploding in price yesterday. And we'll talk about what happened with that as well. So if you're hyped for the video and you're hyped instead of Future Stars right now, especially for opening player picks, make sure to hit a thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you're new. Speaking of player picks, I'll, I'll just start off with this really fast. The, the cracked pack luck continues. I did a first set of three player picks yesterday and <laughs> the main man Konate walked out. So at, at the moment, Konate is replacing Kaza in the squad. Um, so that's a little bit of a flex, I guess. GG's. I don't know what where this pack luck has come from, but the player picks are giving out and they're really, really good for fodder. I'll even start off by talking about these a little bit. The fact that they are 80 plus and they gave you three options. I mean, from my experience opening these, yes, it's a gamble because you're it's a player pick, right? It's an upgrade pack, but these are giving out really, really good fodder. And this is going to make SBCs very craftable over the next three days that this is out. And this is one of the reasons why I think they might re-release that mid or prime icon SBC either today, tomorrow, or in the next coming days. As you can see, this expires today on this game this was released during team of the year last week or even like a week and a half ago um, and it is going to be expiring today now of course we still have the mid icon upgrade that is out repeatable for five more days but again i really think right now ea is pumping the content during future stars right we have leaked sbcs like the gareth bale flashback that is a front runner for content today or the baddie shill center back um, perfect link to Chalmeni. Those are potential pieces of content that we could be seeing today. But I still feel like an icon SBC like that is something that EA would want to have out during this time frame because they're just really pushing the SBC content during this Future Stars promo. And they do this every single year on this game. So the mid prime upgrade, just to give you guys a bit of a run up on this, there's, I have not seen any leaks. I've seen a lot of speculation and rumors, but there's no leaks yet as I'm recording this video that this is going to be re-released today. I just think that EA is going to put it out again soon because this is kind of how they do thing with these with do things with these icon SBCs. This is the first time we have seen the mid or prime upgrade released on the game, right? It was released on let's look at the exact date. It was released on the 24th of January and now it's expiring today. But a lot of times when EA puts out icon upgrade SBCs for the first time, they do it for the first time non-repeatable. Then they release that SBC after the first one expires for a second time, non-repeatable. And then the third time we see that SBC released as a repeatable upgrade SBC. I'm pretty sure it's been the exact same path with the base icon, the base or mid, and now the mid icon that is out repeatable after it was released, I believe two times non-repeatable. So I think that in the next coming days, we would still get another mid or prime upgrade SBC. I, don't, I think we'd be getting too ahead of ourselves to just expect a prime icon upgrade, that would be a little bit too early. And this is a SBC that, of course, people love to do. 570K, it had a 74% chance of an upvote when it was released the first time. And again, with player picks being out right now, and a lot of people gonna be getting some big time packs later on this week with the foot future stars 
swap token rewards being released, I think that if you're EA Sports and you want to talk about engagement and, you know, people doing SBCs in this game and maybe even more of a chance of spending FIFA points and opening packs, you would want to have a mid or prime pack upgrade SBC available in your game when the 85 times 10 and the 81 to 89 and the ultimate pack and all of these packs are made available this Friday on this game. So that's just kind of me thinking theoretically and just kind of thinking about how EA does this stuff. Now, if they were to release the mid prime again, that would cause a bit of the market to drop because people freaking love these SBCs. They love the icon upgrade packs and they will do them basically every single time they're released, specifically with the chance of a prime icon in these. People will go for them. They'll craft them. They'll do the 81 plus player picks or the 80 plus player picks and just try to craft that SBC on its own. So that's why I think it'd be a good idea for EA to release it. It would be the exact same requirements as last time, probably costing about 570 coins, <laughs> 570,000 coins as it does right now. Again, there's no leaks for that as I'm recording this. You might see some coming out in the, in the near future, I suppose, but I would expect EA to drop that if it's not today pretty soon. I honestly think by the end of the week, that would be an SBC I would expect them to drop or re-drop in this game, maybe this weekend during Future Stars 2 at the latest. That's just kind of my opinion on that. Now, with what's going on in this game, and of course, yesterday with the Weekend League Rewards time period, and with all the SBCs that were dropped yesterday, SBC fodder is up, right? We were kind of looking at these 88s to 89s to the 90 rated cards, right? This is the part of the market that is up the most. Now, of course, yesterday we talked about doing a little bit of a club stock on some of this stuff. If you did that, you were in the money because take a look. Um, with the 84 plus player pick dropping yesterday, 84 is with a really big spike. They've kind of come back down a little bit, but you can see here on the index, last night we were looking at 84s at like three and a half thousand coins. A lot of them went to 4,000 coins plus. We were looking at 86s at like 12, 13, 14,000 coins. Now they're 16 to 17,000. We were looking at Harry Kane at 46K and now he is 49,000 coins, basically 50K. You can kind of see it happen right here, right? From 45, 46,000 coins, he just continuously rose over the day yesterday as this was people getting coins from Weekend League Rewards, going out and doing some of these SBCs that are live. Maybe Dominic Calvert-Lewin, maybe Brahim Diaz, uh, maybe that mid or prime, maybe uh, Danny Olmo or Maldini, Giroud, Varane. Again, as we talked about yesterday and still on the in this game right now, there are tons of SBCs that are available that people are going out and doing so that is why SBC fodder is up and I think there's a little bit of that fodder rise a little bit of it, of it is pertaining to the leaks that we still have we still have a pretty big leak for a flashback Gareth Bale and I think the most popular day for him to drop would be either like today or on Thursday I would imagine if this SBC is coming pretty soon it's been leaked that it's coming soon so I think this is the big SBC that a lot of people are waiting on right now I know that we have the R9 leak as well but I feel like this R9 is still not going to be for a couple days since they dropped the um, Haji and the Zidane I think that they're going to wait a couple days before dropping even more icons I can't remember any time in the recent uh, past where they've dropped back-to-back -back days of icon player SBCs. I haven't seen that like honestly ever, I don't think. So I wouldn't expect to see R9 today, maybe later on this week, maybe next week at the beginning. Who knows? Um, that's still a leak that is out there and very true and very real. They just didn't drop all of those icons that we looked at that were leaked at the same time. So that's kind of, again, what is going on with that fodder part of the market. Now, just to take a look at these SBCs for a second, Zidane is coming in at 1.39 million coins, which if you, I mean, if you're a big time Zidane fan and you really just want to get a version of Zidane and craft it and use it in your club for the rest of the year, yes, this is a pretty usable card. But again, I also think that this is a base icon released in February. We're two weeks away from icon moments being released and it just feels a bit wrong, you know, going for a mid, or sorry, for a base version of an icon in February, right? So that's why I'm not a big fan of the Zidane, but again, the price is just okay. Once fodder drops off, then this Zidane is probably gonna be valued on the market around like 1.1 to 1.2 million coins when fodder does cool off from the prices that it is right now. But again, I still feel like uh, you would be more wise, even if you were a big time Zidane fan, just to try to grind up the coins and, and buy the card tradable off the market and not sink all of your fodder and all of your club into an item like that. Now, this SBC 
is just next level. This is so cool, right? Again, if you guys did not know this, it's not just Prime Haji that you get from this SBC. You also get a Future Stars version of his son, Haji, in the SBC for an 83 rated squad. Now, some of you guys are just doing this 83 rated squad, 75 chemistry. This is a really easy SBC to craft when you're doing player picks because you can turn in a team of the week or a foot champions player. And the overall SBC for Haji here is not too terrible value. It really is not that bad. It's about 220K for the Haji SBC in total, which you get his prime icon card and the future stars Haji, which is a pretty sick card in all honesty. But again, just this is so cool. If you actually look at this crest on the SBC, you see Haji 10 with a little kid, seven with his son. This is actually a real picture. Uh, I saw this on Reddit and on Twitter. This is actually a real picture of Haji on the pitch with his son. It's so cool, right? That is so cool. So that's like hits you straight in the feels. EA Sports, GG with the work on that because that is so cool. And I like how they released those two together because you kind of know, again, and we talked about this in yesterday's video too, right? If you're going to be playing with these two guys and really want to use them in your squad, you know, you kind of need them to link together because other than that, it's really hard to get links to this uh, the son, Haji, Ionis Haji, right? But five-star weak foot, four-star skills, really, really good looking card. He's got the long shot taker trait, flare trait. Um, and again, 4,000 upvotes on this SBC. People are excited about this. It's again, a really easy craft. The Haji card as well with the, the green link to his son. He's four-star, four-star. He does have a lot more traits. His work rates are medium low, which is a bit of a bummer, but hey, Messi's got medium low work rates as well, and he is cracked. So, uh, this is a, a decent SBC, a decent card, but I think it just hits you right in the feels, and that's why it's so cool with the two Hajis that you're able to play and to use with. It's really, really fun, and it's cheap, and it's affordable, and I give props to EA Sports for that content because that was a tremendous dub. Now, again, just covering quickly the other SBCs yesterday, the 84-plus player pick out for a couple days, two Team of the Weeks. Team of the Week fodder didn't rise that much yesterday. I believe that, like discard team of the weeks went up like two to three k maybe even four four thousand coins so i think all team of the week cards right now on the market are like 13 to 14 k and that might have been their peak now i think those will probably drop back down a little bit but a lot of you guys that maybe invested in some of this higher rated team of the week stuff like 84 team of the weeks at 15 k this stuff um we need more higher rated, higher tier SBCs. Like if a Gareth Bale um, flashback or the R9 comes out and requires a lot of informs and some higher rated squads with multiple informs required, that's when you're going to see this higher rated stuff continue to move up. So if you're still holding on to some of these informs, I think that's a good play. And I would continue holding on to some of those right now on this market. Now, speaking of the market in general, a lot of the market is just kind of at a standstill, right? It's just chilling, except for the future stars cards and these cards absolutely flew yesterday after rewards and you're like nate yesterday we talked about a market drop what's going on well besides these cards a lot of the market didn't move upwards that much you take a look at team of the years messi is still 3.22 million coins and bape is still 6.1 ronaldo is still six mil donnarumma 188 Jorginho 1.1 uh, De Bruyne's 1.88, right? So a lot of these team of the year cards and the honorable mentions are still around the same price. Some of them down a little bit. Some of them maybe slightly up. Rudiger is, again, extremely rare and has a lot of hype. So he is continuing to rise. But take a look at Jonathan David, right? A little bit overinvested. People are turning to new cards. He's down. Look at how much he dropped yesterday. I think partially this had to do with a Calvert-Lewin SBC. He went from 70K down to 60,000 coins. And if you take a look on the market, there's a lot of panic selling there. But overall, if you bought into any of these future stars, which I did, I bought into some uh, Tomiyasus yesterday before Weekend League Rewards. Uh, I was buying those Tomiyasus at you know, 80 to 84,000 coins, selling a lot of these in the high to mid 90K range. There was a pretty nice up um, swing on these cards on the market. And, you know, especially some of the top tier ones. Uh, I'm taking a look at a card like this Ferran Torres who got really, really low last night. He was down to 1.2. I still stand by my words that this card is going to be no more than 1.1 to 1.2 million coins, closer down to 1 million coins flat by the time we get to this weekend. Um, I don't think he's worth this much on the market at all. He's just really rare. 
and still really expensive because people are very hyped about him. Um, and then you had other cards like Jude Bellingham go from 1.55 million coins. He's almost 1.8 mil. This guy is flying in price just because I think, uh, you know, one of the things, and you, you might even think that I'm capping and like, no, no, there's no way this is true. But I think that one of the reasons why these cards went up a lot yesterday is because you can actually find them on the market, right? For a lot of people, they're not the best at searching the market and this market is glitchy as it is. They were looking for the quality type of future stars and they couldn't find it. Um, and you may not believe me, but that's a legit fact. A lot of people, a lot of people in this game were probably unable to find some of these cards. I really think, especially for these items that have multiple special cards, like Shaomeni, he's got two informs. Uh, he went up like 60,000 coins. I bought one at 1.02. And I sold it too early, right? Because these cards kept rising further after the content drop. Once this search filter was added, um, a perfect example of this was Smith Rowe. Smith Rowe went from 650K all the way up to 700K right around the content drop. And then after the content drop, Smith Rowe went from 700K to like 730 even for a hot minute on the PlayStation console. And it really just had to do, in my opinion, with people were able to find these cards on the market. And there's still you know, they're still really hyped, right? There's a lot of demand for these cards, even though they're not the most insane. And a lot of the hardcore players like you guys that are watching this video, look at these cards and they're like, yeah, they're cool, but they're not really that cool. They're just nice, right? But for a lot of casuals that play this game, once again, these cards are sick, right? Because these are cards, oh my goodness, I've never used Ferran Torres. He's never had a really good card that looks so good like this in this game. I got to go and try him out. Or I've never used Tomiyasu in FIFA. He just transferred to Arsenal this year. He hasn't had a usable FIFA card yet. You know, a lot of people are excited about this guy playing in the Premier League. Oh my goodness, he's got a right back card. Oh my goodness, look at those stats. You know, so I think that's part of the hype that really rose these cards yesterday. And, you know, a lot of people, I think we're kind of in a new, especially after the Christmas period, I feel like there's a new general trend on the market in general is that a lot of people buy cards on Sundays now because for the past few years, it's always been known that Sundays were the cheapest days. Now, with the change in the weekend league structure, with the playoffs, with division rivals requiring you to play more games, and with the champs playoffs being less games, I really feel like what you see now on the market is a lot of people actually go out and buy teams on, you know, on, on Sunday nights and Mondays. And that's why you see the market do so well most Mondays is because people think they're getting ahead of the game by doing that. But this year's market is completely different. And also, there's a lot more gameplay demand, right? We just started a new season where now you have to get four and eight wins of division rivals to get yourself the, the weekly reward and the reward upgrade. So there's even more gameplay. I feel like EA has done a really good job this year. But whether you believe it or not, it's actually a fact. They've done a really good job this year with keeping people in intertwine and playing this game with the reward structure because people feel like they have to play their rivals games to get their rewards every week they also feel like they have to play champions playoffs and get their games in to try to qualify for the weekend league depending on how many you know games they had won uh in the weekend league prior so there's a lot of gameplay that happens on mondays and tuesdays so i think that's another reason why you saw those cards really explode up in price yesterday even though it was a day of really good content, man, I'm selling cards like hotcakes right now. What am I selling? Oh yeah, I bought three Butrogonios today at 500K, 505, 503, sold them at 540 and 547. Nice, that's a GG. Yesterday with all the content, moving on here really quick for the end of this video. Yesterday with all the content, it was a really good day to trade with the market going up. I bought some Mane's at 230, 228 to 230. He's 260. I bought some Sterling's at 410. I bought a Rashford at 340. Um, a Trincao at like 45K. This Shaw Pedro, I bought it at like 78,000 coins. Um, I bought some Ben Yedders at 80. I bought a couple Contes at 160K, some Varans in the low 30s. Some of the stuff has not sold yet. Uh, the Foden's that I bought in the 230s, he's still there. Um, a couple of the Contes I still have as well. But a lot of the market really did pretty well yesterday. It, the stuff that did drop, it did bounce back. Like I was talking about those Butra Gwenyas that I bought. Um, again, he was down in the low 500s and he's getting rare right now at night. That's really nice to see. Gabriel Jesus was down in the low to mid 800s. It looks like now he's about 870, 880. Um, you know, and I'm kind of watching this Ferran Torres still as well because this guy is so stinking rare. And last night he went from... 1.3 mil after getting his price range update um, up to 
1.7 mil. Yes, he actually sold at 1.7 mil. So I'm kind of watching this card tonight. Oh my, 1.4 flat. Let's see how long that sits if it does sit because this card is mad rare. And I know people know that it's not going to be um, a card that, okay, that got bought. This is not going to be a card that maintains its value very well, but still it's going to be great to trade with. So I probably should have picked up that Ferran Torres for the quick flip because I really think that I can sell this guy at like 1.5 plus um, maybe today, but that's going to be really risky. So just depending on how much risk you want to take right now with your trading on the market, there definitely are going to be moves that you're going to be able to make. Um, you know, there's also the grindy methods are working right now. Bronze pack method, because of the player picks, gold commons were up at like 700 coins a piece. Looks like right now there's still 700 coins a piece. That's crazy. Gold rares, I think, are like 750 to 800 because of those player picks. So right now is actually not a bad time to do bronze pack method, silver pack method, and grind those kind of menu trading methods like the chemistry style trading methods and the position change stuff because there's gameplay demand, there's SBC demand, all of the demand. There's a lot of content going on right now. So there's a lot of ways you can trade on this market as well. So that's going to be the video for today, boys. Again, Tuesday content wise, really don't have any leaks. I guess the only thing that we are confirmed to get today is a title update. There's going to be a brand new title update. So gameplay is probably going to change a little bit. Just be on the lookout for that. Um, but I do, you know, it seems a bit crazy and it seems like we're getting a ton of player SPC content recently. Um, but we might have another player SPC today, right? The flashback bail that, um, body Shelley, of course, from the, League Un is a card that a lot of people are looking forward to, myself included. Maybe we get either one of those SBCs today. That will be something to keep an eye out for as we load into Tuesday content on this game. We'll have to see, right? We will have to see what EA decides to do. Maybe they drop another one of those Academy objectives since, of course, they've been allowing people to grind Shaloba. Maybe they'll drop another one of those today. We'll just have to see how this Tuesday shakes up to be on FIFA 22. So if you enjoyed the video today, make sure to hit a thumbs up. Of course, down below in the comments, let me know how you're doing. Let me know if you've packed anything sick from player picks or if you, uh, any opinions on the content from the um, FIFA and in the game yesterday. And of course, if you are brand new, make sure you subscribe to the channel. So that's the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy, do all those things I just mentioned. I don't know why I'm saying this again, but it's been Nathan Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.